What's up Aries? Welcome to your love reading from now until the end of July going into August or whenever you come across this message. Of course, this is going to be for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus placements or whatever placement you guys may resonate best with. Um, do keep in mind this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with everybody every single time. Hopefully it resonates with you this time. If not, hopefully next time. Um, definitely feel free to check out your Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Sometimes those may resonate more. Some people like to watch them all and put it all together. Totally up to you guys. If you are a returning subscriber to this channel, I thank you so very much for being here. I truly appreciate your support. So we are going to dive in for Aries. But first, before I do that, I want to get an overall message here for love. Okay. So what's going on? What's happening for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Love Spirit for the end of July going into August? Ooh, okay. Fulfillment. Okay, wishes coming true. Healing. Okay. Cycles. Okay, it definitely looks like Aries. There's some type of cycle that's completing okay you or your love interest you pick general reading it's up to you guys to you know put together who's who um so it definitely looks like there were certain cycles within your love life that kept repeating themselves and somebody felt like they didn't belong like somebody felt left out within a relationship so now somebody's healing from that so this could be healing from a breakup or separation here or this could just be healing within a relationship, like fulfillment in love, whether you're single or taken. Wow. Okay. So let's see y'all. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, in love spirit from now until the end of July going into August. Or whenever they come across this message, this message will be timeless. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Alright. You're good. Definitely keep in mind general reading. The only way to get a reading to 100% resonate with you and your energy is to get a personal reading. Interesting. So overall energy, we've got the Two of Wands. Okay, so I really feel like this is you guys. You've got to decide if you want to move forward here in love. Interesting. Okay, or somebody does. So let's see, Aries. So we've got... The, oh, wow. Aries, either you yourself... You could be extremely wealthy, extremely stable. Um, or whomever you're dealing with is extremely wealthy, extremely stable. Wow, Aries, you've got to be kidding me. Your partner or love interest is so happy, so fulfilled emotionally. Oh my goodness. Like you are their wish come true, dream come true, Aries. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's see. Six of Pentacles. Okay. That's the energy that's bringing you to together um is equal give and take fair balance okay there could be a business agreement that's bringing you guys together right now or just consistency reliability within your relationship within your love life you can count on each other you're reliable you're trustworthy you're giving to each other everything's equal everything's fair everything's balanced hmm okay so the best advice from spirit here, we have got the five of cups and it is reversed. So spirit is advising that somebody is either suffering from depression. Okay. That could be for some of you, obviously not for all, but spirits advising that there's a massive, 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 massive healing that's taking place within your love life and within your relationship. Like somebody's really healing from feeling like they didn't belong, feeling like cycles kept repeating themselves, karmic cycles, like somebody's really healing and somebody's going to be extremely fulfilled and happy within their love life. So this is the best advice is to heal. 
either for you or whomever you're dealing with. Heal from the grief, the regret, the remorse, the disappointments, all of it. So let's see what's going to happen between you guys. Ooh, we have justice reversed. Okay, y'all. Somebody may not make a decision to move forward towards this fulfillment right this is a decision you're gonna have to make Aries or the other person is gonna have to make for the end of July going into August or whenever you happen to see this message interesting okay so let's clarify so you could be feeling like the person you're dealing with is very stable very successful very focused on their money or you are I'm hearing very like down to earth or grounded. We have a lot of earth energy. Um, so there is a chance like you could v view this person as a friend for some of you. Like somebody could be trying to decide if they want to move forward with a friend. Somebody that they've kind of like friend zoned here. So let's see. Tell me why is the king of pentacles here? Four of cups. You may be feeling like this person, wow, 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 wow. You're definitely feeling a strong connection to this person, Aries. Okay, you're both coming out as the same suit, upright, uh, both stable, both making a lot of money. I'm hearing power couple here. Interesting. You could be married to this person. But we've got the four of cups here. So you could be feeling like this person is disinterested or not really accepting what you have to offer here. And you may also feel like this person is definitely focused on past issues here and not focusing on the present. So you very well could be feeling like they're, they're focused on past issues that need to be healed from. Okay, or you're, that's the way you feel. Either way, wow. Okay, so let's see. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Ooh, the, oh my God, Aries. This person is in love with you. They are so happy with you. Like you are their wish come true, their dream come true. They feel a, an extremely strong connection to you, Aries. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Page of coins and knight of coins. So there may be something unexpected here, like with finances or having to move forward slow and steady with this person after a period of, you know, disappointment or upset here. There's massive healing taking place and I love it. I love this. Okay, so the energy, again, between you guys is that Six of Pentacles. Like, I feel like I'm hearing, too, like, karmic debts have been paid off. Karmic cycles have been learned within a specific relationship or within your love life. Wow. Okay, so you both are coming at this relationship as equals. Equally giving, equally receiving. You could have some type of business deal or business arrangement with this person. This could be somebody that you're dealing with at work. Okay. Or just balancing out finances here. Let's see. Why is the Six of Pentacles here for what brings these two people together, spirit and love? Why is the Six of Pentacles here? This You've got to be kidding me, Aries. This is the energy that's bringing you together, is happiness, stability, security, celebration, marriage even. Some of you guys could be getting married, or some of you may be dealing with someone that's married. Oh my goodness. But what's bringing you together, Aries, is happiness, fulfillment. There very well could be pregnancies here for some, but positive energy is bringing you guys together. Wish fulfillment. Optimism is bringing you guys together. Optimism and being positive that you guys can work together as a team, that you can count on each other here. Like you're both bringing extreme amount of happiness to each other right now and security, stability, family is what's bringing you together. 
this is beautiful but for some of you there is someone who is married here okay or you are married to this person okay so let's see why the five why is the five of cups reverse the best advice for aries the hermit okay so the best advice here is someone's extremely burdened and stressed out somebody could be overdoing it work-wise okay or just overdoing it in general really burdened really stressed out they've got things going on in their life um, that are weighing them down here and they're trying to get unstuck they're trying to get this burden off of them whether that's you or them Aries so the best advice here yeah somebody's really really overthinking really stuck in their head really trapped for some of you this could be someone that is in a relationship already okay and you may feel like they're not accepting your offer here and they very well could have a decision between two different people like you make them happy you make them emotionally fulfilled you have an extremely strong connection to them but they very well could have a decision between two different people because we do have the marriage card coming up if not you are married to this person or living with this person but spirit is advising the best advice here is someone it needs to pull away okay somebody's going to pull away someone needs to pull away somebody needs to take time to themselves to heal okay whether that's you or them so the justice card reversed here oof Ooh, oof. there could be some legal issues legal troubles between you and this person or coming up for you coming up for them there may not be a decision made moving forward with this person just yet. This decision, like somebody may be very slow to make a decision here. But something may end up feeling like unjust or unfair or something actually may be unjust or unfair or somebody may end up, you know, doing something they're not supposed to be doing here. Let's see, why is justice reversed here, the outcome? For Aries in love, nine of coins, death reversed. So someone's definitely going to be holding on here. Okay, I do see a break or a period of rest, someone pulling away. Okay, this is the best advice for somebody to pull away and for somebody to heal. Whether you need to pull away and heal Aries or they're pulling away and they're healing here. But somebody's not able to let go of someone here so in the outcome it's it's like somebody may feel as though things are unfair and unjust because somebody wants to stay single okay and somebody just can't let go someone can't let go here of someone that is taking a break from the other person but the thing is is somebody needs to take this break to heal from this disappointment this regret this loss so someone is going to be pulling away here whether that's you or them so we've got scorpio virgo leo gemini taurus virgo capricorn a lot of major arcanas here too libra as well so this is definitely some cycles okay some cycles that you and this person are going through together okay karmic cycles karmic debts being paid off healing taking place so again in the outcome aries i feel like somebody may be making bad decisions for their own benefit or for their own gain or things may feel unjust and unfair because somebody wants to be single here Somebody's trying to decide what to do because the other person is trying to heal. And in the outcome here, somebody's not going to be letting go. Not going to be letting go. Somebody's going to be feeling rejected because someone has to pull away and heal. Aries. Interesting. So let's go in with the Tarot of Sexual Magic and get some more information here for y'all for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Spirit for the end of July going into August or whenever they happen to see this message. What's coming in for love for Aries? 
yeah it's going to be slow it's going to be steady so this could be someone you view as a friend um, somebody definitely could be getting friend zoned here um, but moving forward with this person it's going to be very slow very consistent here the energy is very positive what you're bringing together um, also the energy between you guys for the end of july going into august is almost like an energy of something being exposed financially so someone may end up feeling like there's something unjust, something unfair financially here as well. Yeah, I'm getting that as well. Let's see. Tell me more. What's coming in for love for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, spirit. Page of cups. Okay, so somebody really does care here. Somebody really does care, but I feel as though the person coming in, Aries, they're, they're very frustrated, okay? They could feel as though you're with someone else here, or they could be very, very jealous um, and have a hard time, like, expressing their emotions or showing their emotions. I feel like they're definitely trying to heal um, from some type of third-party situation, or they're trying to heal from some type of jealousy here or anger, what are they trying to heal from, Spirit? Yeah, there's that Five of Cups. Reversed again. They're, they're trying to heal from disappointments, regrets. They're trying to heal from what you did to them, Aries, or what somebody else did to them. Or they're trying to heal from depression. Or they're trying to heal from some type of loss. So they definitely need more time. Or you need more time. It could go either way. It's up to you to decide who's who in a general reading. That's what's causing so much burden. So much burden, so much stress here. Somebody's still emotionally frustrated, emotionally upset. Wanting to take things slow. But the, the thing is, is they want to take things slow. They want to move forward. But still, somebody needs to take that action to do so. Mm, so things are definitely going to feel unfair. Let's see what else. What else is coming in for love for Aries? Okay. Well, secrets are definitely coming out. Secrets are going to be revealed. There aren't going to be any more illusions. You're going to know where you stand with this person and this person is going to know where they stand with you. Somebody's definitely choosing not to open up emotionally. Um, somebody's choosing not to offer love somebody needs to recover here somebody needs time aries so let's see what your love and trust would say to you aries what would aries partner or love and trust say to them spirit Ooh, run run far away that's spirit coming through no longer in love aries so they may not be in love okay um or they're no longer in love they need time here. We've also got, I know I hurt you. I'm stupid on the bottom. Keep in mind, this could be how you're feeling. If Aries partner or love interest could tell them how they feel. Ooh, let me upgrade you. So there is, there is an emotionally frustrated, angry energy here. And spirit is advising this person to go within. This person really needs to go within to heal from these disappointments, this grief regret remorse tell me more what would aries partner or love interest say to them spirit for the end of july going into august dangerously in love and they're also saying give me a little more time so let's get some spiritual guidance here what's going to happen for aries in love spirit for the end of july going into august Interesting, vivid dreams, okay. Tell me more. Push and pull energy, mirroring. So you guys are definitely mirroring each other, mirroring and reflecting back to each other what needs to be healed. Um, one of you definitely could be having or experiencing very vivid dreams or dreaming about each other, or having bad dreams even is kind of what I'm getting. But there's definitely like a push-pull energy. There's a frustrating energy here. And somebody's definitely going to be, be feeling that. Excuse me. 
Let's see. Tell me more. What's going to happen between Aries and their partner or love interest? Signs from nature. Okay, so definitely nature, earth. You will be receiving signs, synchronicities, vivid dreams here. Someone definitely needs time to heal. Somebody's being guided by spirit. Tell me more. What's going to happen between Aries and their partner or love interest for the end of July going into August, spirit? Healthy boundaries and energy cleanse. Okay, so somebody definitely is going to be or start making they're going to start making healthier choices here. I'm also seeing, yeah, there's a karmic lesson. A karmic lesson is definitely being paid off here with the sun. Um, also, what's bringing you guys together is better health. Okay, you could be investing in better health habits, investing in your happiness. So I'm also seeing healing from like overindulging as well. So this is definitely a karmic lesson, okay? So somebody's cleanse. You guys are cleansing your energy together, cleansing cleansing your space. You both could be pulling away to heal, and it could be unfair because you may feel separated from this person, or this person ends up feeling you know like things are unfair because you guys are separated. I'm definitely seeing you guys staying together as friends and moving forward slowly. But of course, that's your decision if you want to make that decision here. There may also need to be healthy boundaries set with like finances, or you know when it comes to like spending alone time, or when it comes to like independence, things like that. Let's see. Tell me more. What's going to happen between Aries and their partner or love interest for the end of July going into August? Wow. Soulmate. Okay, so you guys are definitely soulmates. And there's going to be coincidences. There's going to be things that pop up, especially from spirit or like signs and synchronicities from the earth that is going to help guide you guys. Seriously, that's the best advice is to look within and trust, believe, heal. We've also got keep the faith, especially keep the faith when it com when it comes to a new friendship here. Also regain balance, okay? And we've also got codependent and listen to your intuition, messages from spirit. Okay? So someone definitely is going to be regaining back their independence here um, and somebody's going to feel like that's unjust that's unfair but again healthy boundaries need to be put in place or set in place so let's get a heart message for aries wow we have got embrace so through each other you find the missing pieces i love it on the bottom, we have got beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So you guys definitely are mirroring each other and mirroring what needs to be healed within each other. And yes, there's soulmate again. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically so that is what i've got for you guys i hope you enjoy this i hope this helps you for the end of july going into august or beyond whenever you come across this message definitely like share subscribe and i will see you guys next time so much love to you take care